Hello there everyone, it's your old pal Cape Joel back again on the DC Fan Channel and I'm oh so happy to be here with you all today because I am talking about Aquaman issue number 44. It's the brand new issue from Kelly Sue DeConnick out this week. Uh, it's a little earlier as I sit and record this video. I, I can never tell when these are going up. I'm guessing it'll be up coinciding around the same time. But yes, when we last left off with our hero Arthur Curry, he had completely forgotten that he even was Arthur Curry. He had forgotten everything. He's dealing with amnesia. He's running around on a very strange island where nothing is what it seems. Uh, but really what this issue does is uh, manage to give us a really nice snapshot of what Mira is doing and what has become of Atlantis ever since. Aquaman seemingly died with big finger quotes and the answer is it's not great but not in the way you might think they're not under siege by enemies you know people aren't rebelling against Mira no Mira is really sad obviously having lost the love of her life but what's truly fascinating is that you know uh, obviously Atlantis is a pretty old school place with some very old-timey royal ideals and one of those big ideals is that the throne succession must stay in place, and because Aquaman and Mira had no children, they did in other timelines, but they don't here in the new continuity, they need to be sure that if something bad happens to Mira, the throne will be secure, and because of that, Mira is being forced, she's being pressured into taking a new husband, into taking a new mate, and you know, that's a, that's a blink and you'll miss it type thing there, but still, I thought that was actually a pretty clever direction to take this one, you know, to see Mira being forced back into the dating pool. She also has a very uh, interesting new kind of queen mother design. She's got a big, big like conch shell headpiece that I felt was pretty slick. Uh, again, we learned a bit more about the strange island. I think I called it the Island of Lost Souls Misfit Toys in the last video. Uh, turns out, you know, they just don't have a problem with one rogue wayward sea god. Uh, there are many rogue sea gods on this island. In fact, that's something that kind of brings everyone together. And if you're a fan of mythology, and you know your sea gods, I'm sure this book will hit for you on a completely different level than it did for me. Uh, this has really been, you know, a slow burn. We're two issues in, and, you know, Kelly Sudeikonik seems to be in no particular rush. You know, stylistically, this book, I would say, has more in common with, like, you know, uh, like a magical drama, like a fantasy or something than it does an actual superhero book and you know it definitely it definitely knows what it wants to be it's definitely taking its time and I think it's building up to something rather interesting but yes that was Aquaman number 44 everyone I thought it was pretty cool it's definitely a very bold very different direction for Aquaman I've never seen anything like this before for the character and if I had to bet on where it's going in the future I, I, I couldn't I have no idea where it's going and sometimes that's good for a comic book to not really know where it's going and to be surprised but yes that was the video i hope you enjoyed it i of course have been cape joel and i will be back again next time to talk to you about more aquaman or whatever whenever i'm back on the dc fan channel so thank you for watching and you'll see me next time Bye bye